Today, we're diving deep into the science and mechanics of how an engine comes to a stop when the key is turned off. When you turn off your car's ignition, the spark plugs stop firing, halting the combustion process. However, the engine doesn't stop immediately. Instead, the moving parts like the crankshaft, pistons, and flywheel continue rotating due to their inertia. Eventually, the engine slows down and stops because of resistance forces like friction and compression. One of the most significant forces resisting this motion is compression resistance. During the compression stroke, the piston compresses the air-fuel mixture, creating high pressure. This resistance is greater than the forces acting during other strokes, and it plays a major role in determining where the engine stops. Studies have shown that engines typically stop when one of the pistons is about 70 degrees before top dead center, beat DC, on the compression stroke with a variation of plus or minus 10 degrees. Why? At this point, the compression resistance is strong enough to slow the engine significantly, but not enough to completely overcome the inertia of the rotating parts. The engine cyclic motion often leads to this predictable stopping point. Now, here's where this becomes really interesting. When the engine stops, it usually halts at one of two positions, depending on which cylinder is on its compression stroke. In a four-cylinder engine, this happens because the crankshaft completes two full revolutions, 720 degrees, for all four cylinders to go through the full cycle. This stopping behavior creates a unique or pattern on the starter ring gear, which is the toothed wheel the starter motor uses to turn the engine over. Since the engine stops in the same two positions repeatedly, the starter motor engages with the same sections of the ring gear most often. Over time, this leads to concentrated wear on these two areas. This predictable wear pattern has practical implications for engine maintenance. Technicians know to inspect these specific locations on the ring gear for damage when diagnosing starting issues. Uneven wear here can lead to starting problems if not addressed. Manufacturers are addressing this issue by developing starter systems and ring gears designed to distribute or more evenly. Innovations like offset teeth patterns or alternative engagement mechanisms can prolong the lifespan of these components. So, the next time your engine stops, remember, it's not random. It's the result of physics, resistance, and mechanical design. And if you're ever dealing with starter issues, this knowledge could help you understand what's going on under the hood. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more content like this. See you next time.